Hello and welcome, you're here with Miss Libby Rose and in today's tutorial we're going to be making the child's heart apron. So if you haven't already then do go back a step and um, download the pattern. So the pattern links are below and there is a video as well that can talk you through downloading the pattern, printing it out, sticking it all together, making sure you get it all right. And if you've done that and cut out your fabric, then you're ready for this video. So if you're all done, then you will have two pieces looking like this. And what I have gone ahead and done is put on a patch pocket on mine. So we cut out the fabric on the fold. So two pieces on the fold of the pattern. That's all shown in the description and in the, in, in the writing on the pattern. But then before we get sewing it all together, you want to put on anything extra you'd like to add. So I've put patch pockets on both sides because it's reversible. It can have patch pocket on either side. And you could put on applique, anything you like. So anything that you want stitched on, do that now and then we're ready to start sewing it together. So if you've done all of that, got your two pieces, then we can start to get this created. So you'll need four pieces of ribbon. Now they go around here and around here. So tie up the shoulders, tie up around the waist. So the length that you'll need really depends on who you're making it for. So I've done four pieces, say around a meter long. It's probably a bit excessive. You probably won't need that much, but you can just double check, make sure you've got enough to do a bow and things as well. So I've got four pieces of ribbon. I've got my sewing machine. I've got pins, I've got scissors. And most of all, I've got my pattern pieces. So now I'm just gonna move the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing on the table and we can follow it step by step and you don't have to look at my face. <laughs> so, um, so let's get started. So here we are. We've got one of our pattern pieces laid out flat. It doesn't matter which one, it can be either one, it's absolutely fine. Then we're going to take our pieces of ribbon. So we've got four pieces of ribbon we're going to put them in place so you want a bit sticking out of the edge so I'm going to lay that down and I leave about a centimeter from the top of this line here and I lay that down now all of this needs to be in the middle okay so we want all the excess in the middle of the apron. We want to lay this flat about a centimetre down from the line and a centimetre down from the line. Then we've got our two tops. So again, we're going to leave those with a tiny little lap hanging out the top. Okay. Now you'll want to measure that to make sure you're equidistant on either side. And you could even try this on your wearer to check exactly where these straps should go. But wherever you choose them to be, they should be the same distance. So do double check that with your tape measure. And now I have all of this. It's really important that all the ribbon bunches up in the middle here. Okay, we don't want any bits sticking out from the edge. Then you take your other piece, lay it on top, making sure the ribbons don't move. 
and quickly get pins in. Pins in. So we're holding down, pinning both sides and the ribbon in place. So the first thing you want to do is pin two fabrics and ribbon so they're all in place. I can already see that this one's moved, so I'm going to shift that up, re-put it in position, and pin. So now I know that all my ribbons are pinned and right sides are together on the fabrics. Then you want to double check that your ribbon is still in the middle. I'm going to tuck all of mine into the pocket. If you don't have a pocket here, you could just pin it down. It's really important that this doesn't fly out while you're sewing. Super important. How do I know? Because I've done it. <laughs> That's the good thing about these tutorials is that I can tell you all the things I've done. And you don't have to make those mistakes. Well, they're not mistakes, are they? They're just creative, creative learning. Okay, so we're all pinned in place. Then the only other thing I need to remember is at the bottom here, I'm going to leave a gap. So leave a gap, the amount to turn it all through. So if I put pins this way, that will tell me not to sew there because I'll come to those pins and I'll think, hey, why are those pins in my way? So it's telling me don't sew there. But you can go ahead and sew everywhere else. So we're going to sew, say start at the bottom then at one of the sides of the gaps and go around. Now, making sure that you skip this so you don't sew this ribbon in place. If you think you will, move it down even further. Okay, we're just going edge of the foot against the edge of the fabric. So one centimeter should be enough. But if not, if you think that you're going to sew over it, then move it down even more. I've just moved mine down ever so slightly. And again, just double check you've done it the same on both sides. So you will sew all the way around, edge of the foot against the edge of the fabric, around, needle in, lift and turn, all the way around this hard at the top, down, down, leaving your gap at the bottom. Once you've sewn around with your gap at the bottom, then come back here and we'll move on to the next step. Hello and we're back. So now we're going to go around any of the curved edges and we're going to do some notches. We're going to take off any of the bits that are just hanging around. So they were good to get it sewn in but now we're just trimming them off. And then we go to our curves and we do notches. So anywhere that there's a curve, we need to do notches. So that when you turn it through, it will open out nicely. So the middle of the heart here, I do a little cut, little triangular cut. You see when I open that then, it'll make a nice, um, it'll make a nice even, so it doesn't bunch up is what I'm trying to say, so it's not going to bunch up. So all around the curves, do these notches. You see I'm doing little triangles up to the stitch line and not over. So don't touch that stitch line. If you can't do the triangular shapes, then just do little slashes. And do them the whole way around the bottom here. 
it's worth it. So wherever there's a curve, do a little cut or a little triangular shape. And it's so worth it when you turn it through because you get a nice clean finish. In the corner here, a little notch, notch off the edge, little tiny little cuts up to the stitch line and not over. Be really careful that you don't touch the stitch line. If you do, you're going back and re-sewing it. So any of those bits you'll need to do now. So I go to the hole that we left earlier and I'm turning it all through that hole. So push, 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 turning it the right way out, all the way through. And this is where you'll see that it was ever so helpful to leave those notches. Now turn your iron on ready, because you're going to press it out. Okay, so any bit that's bunching, you'll see now. And then you might go, actually, I think that that's bunching a bit too much there and there. So I'm going to go back inside and redo another notch. But if you're happy, then take it to your iron and iron it nice and flat. So go around all of these, leaving a nice crease the whole way. So we're just really ironing it out nice and flat. So once you've turned it all through and ironed it down, you are pretty much done. So you've done a really good job. Now, uh, the main thing, as I said, is the notches. So just really making sure that you've done your notches and keep this, uh, keep the bottom hole open until you are totally happy with everything because you might want to go back in and um, redo some notches or things like that as well. So once you've turned it all through and you've got it looking pretty good, then the very last thing is you might want to just hand stitch up the bottom to make it really neat or you can just whack it over on the machine. Either way works well um, and you're done. So that's one side and that's the other side. So really well done. I hope to see you on the other video for making the adults version. So you could do like a mixy matchy version of these. But um, yeah, well done for now. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.